Well, as we mentioned earlier in this video, we are going to learn about something very important called the Constitution. That's right, the Constitution. The Constitution is a very special document for the United States of America. It was written in 1787. It was the plan for how the government of the United States of America would run. It was important for the United States to approve a constitution so everyone would know how this new government would operate. Hey, did you know the constitution has a nickname? That's right. Just like you might have a nickname, the constitution of the United States has a nickname too. The Constitution is called the highest law in the land. It has that nickname because it truly is the highest law in the land. Every other law is supposed to follow and respect the Constitution. Government leaders are called to follow the Constitution and make sure that no laws are passed that go against what is written in the Constitution. The Constitution is the law that all other laws are supposed to support and follow. So the Constitution is a special document written in 1787. It is a written plan for how the government of the United States works. It has a nickname, the highest law of the land, because every other law is supposed to follow the rules found in it. Now we are going to look at some specific things that make the Constitution so amazing. The Constitution has a lot of words in it, but none as famous as the first three words. The first three words of the Constitution are written with big letters and say, we the people. Why do you think the Constitution begins with those words? Why does the Constitution begin with we the people? Hmm. Those are the words that open the Constitution because that idea is the cornerstone of our country. You see, the U.S. government exists for the people, by the people. One of the reasons the colonists fought for independence from Great Britain was to get liberty and freedom for the people. The Constitution starts with we the people because it is not just written to set up the United States government. It is written for the people, by the people. You see, the Constitution not only was the plan for how the United States government would work, it also protects people's rights. The Constitution is made up of seven articles and 27 amendments. The seven articles mainly focus on how the United States government works. The 27 amendments are additions to the Constitution that came after 1787. Many of the amendments are written about the rights that people in our country have, while other amendments have clarifications about how the United States government works. None of the amendments contradict each other or contradict any of the seven articles. The first 10 amendments to the Constitution are known as the Bill of Rights. They protect the most basic freedoms of every American citizen. Rights are things that everyone should be allowed to do. For example, the First Amendment of the Constitution guarantees us freedom of speech, freedom of religion, and freedom of assembly. There are some freedoms that took a long time but finally got added to the Constitution. For example, the 13th Amendment outlawed slavery. The 15th Amendment finally gave African Americans the right to vote. And the 19th Amendment gave women the right to vote. Just like amendments have been added in the past, there may be more amendments that could be added in the future. Maybe in your lifetime there may be 28 or 29 
or even 30 amendments. Hmm. We'll just have to wait and see. That is the Constitution, the highest law in the land. With seven articles and 27 amendments, the Constitution not only shows us how the United States government operates, it also shares the rights and freedoms we have as American citizens.